so that we increase the percentage that are in the private sector as opposed to what's growing so rapidly is the public sector, which has been so detrimental to us with yeah. all their unions and all the rest of it. But it's like 50-50 now. And it's, it's absolutely <laughs> scary. And also a lot of this, um, they say the unemployment isn't as bad. Almost all those jobs are yeah. federal jobs. Yeah, right. We've seen what it has done to California. It has got to stop. But you know, some of this is things we have to do, each and every one of you. You can't count on one representative to do it all. At a certain point, you have to revolt, if you will, that that can't happen. You know, it was interesting because I went to one of the gubernatorial campaigns, um, one of the speakers, and, and she said that it actually, when she goes around the, the state, as bad as our taxes are, she said, actually, what she hears from business people is it's the regulation that's killing you. And I have a funny, a little side story. Um, it's somewhat to your point. I have a young woman who is very liberal that has worked for me in my design business when I was a designer. And she, um, she used to have a, when she cleaned my office up, you know, put things away, she'd have a big box that said Republican crap over in the corner, you know? <laughs> so she was definitely not on my side, but you know, she tried to start a small business of her own. And she would call me irate about the kind of regulations. She said, these are ridiculous. This has nothing to do with my business. And I said, I have been trying to tell you for years, most of the regulations that are put on to different industries are by people who know nothing about their industries and do nothing but stifle entrepreneurship, stifle business owners. So to answer your question, I think it's probably, quite frankly, I think it's one of the most important issues and one of the most important reasons that the Republicans have to come back in is because the Democratic Party is owned by the unions. They're owned by the trial lawyers. They will never do anything to stop it. And as a matter of fact, I, you know, you have to understand, they're planning to take federal tax money to pay state workers. It's come to that, which I have to believe is unconstitutional, but it, it's a huge issue. Um, obviously, I would do anything in my power to, to um, switch it back to what this country is all about, which is the free enterprise system and private companies, not federal and state and county and city workers having the vast, you know, having a good share of the jobs that I think are, uh, there's way too many jobs for way too little work. Yes? What is your view of our educational system? I have um, tutored in the San Francisco schools, and I hear Gavin Newsom saying we have some of the best schools in the country, and if that is true, we are doomed. No, we are doomed. I have been in classrooms, now of course, I'm just a volunteer tutor. I have been in classrooms where I see that on the door, what they do during the day, there's like maybe two hours of actual academic education. Um, I would love to see, you know, I have real mixed feelings about No Child Left Behind because I do think it has been a tool that some children really aren't just left in the dust. Um, I do think most of the control should definitely be at the state and, the, and of course, local level. I think the administration and the bureaucracy should be cut by two-thirds, um, that those people should go back to the classrooms or, or do something else. Um, I think our education system is a disaster. The, the one thing I do like to make clear is that usually, though, if, you, if education is your issue, it really is more within the realm of your state and local representatives. I don't like to pretend that um, someone at the federal level would have a lot of control about that. A lot of, a lot of politicians do. But you know, what you really want to do is get the control back locally because you have a lot more say there than if you have it done from, from Washington. And if that said, I would just like to say in closing, um, I was serious when I said, I think 2010 is, is our water. Every year you hear that this election is the most important election of all time. But I think we, what we've seen in the last year, and uh, you know, when I ran before, I had an inkling of what might happen if we had a president like Obama and Nancy Pelosi as speaker, but never in my wildest imagination did I foresee what we're looking at today. So I would say um, 2010 is it. And um, I think that if they pass this health care reform bill within the next couple weeks, which they are trying to do desperately, they will be so emboldened, there will be nothing beyond them, that it will be cap and trade, that it will be immigration, that it will be the fairness doctrine, they'll name it something else. But there's nothing to stop them except us. So with that, do look into my campaign, defeatnancypelosi.com, and we will keep you informed. And there's one more question. <laughs> Hi. Do you uh, have 
envelopes for you today. That yeah, Lucia help. will Lucia will give you everything you need. And again, I had my first fight in San Francisco, and I will really um, anyone who can help me there, I will gratefully accept your help because I have to counteract the the Ron Paul people, and they are organized and they are on the ground and. And, and since John has already, John Dennis has already said he's going to join up with the uh, anti-war crowd, I know they've got plenty of time on their hands because I saw them all the time in my last election. And I used to say, as I think Jim said, that um, it would be like 10 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'd say, you know, I have a distinct disadvantage. I'm a Republican, and most of my supporters are working right now. But somehow, Cindy Sheehan always had, you know, Crowds of people that she can bring up with her wherever she goes. So I'm going to need that sort of support in my in my primary fight in San Francisco. But if you can't do that, just please spread the word to your Tea Party group, to your 912 group. Don't tell them what I said. Tell them to look into John Dennis's positions on our national security, our foreign policy, the war in Afghanistan, and what he plans to do if he is to win the Republican nomination. Thank you.